Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and run Python 3.4.2 on Windows. First of all, we have to open up our default web browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. And then we must navigate to our default search engine. I'm using Google. And we have to navigate to the Python website. We can do this by typing in Python and then clicking on the first link that comes up. Then we have to look at the tabs at the top of the web page and we see downloads. We now have to click on downloads and navigate to that page. Once we're here, we have to download the version of Python that is appropriate for our system. I'm going to choose 3.4.2 and I'm going to let it download. Okay, the version of Python that is appropriate for my system has now downloaded and it's on my desktop, which means I can now install Python and run it on my system. So we need to double click on the MSI file and run. Then we need to install for all users or just for me but I want to install for all users. Click next, next, yes, next, next, and yes. And Python has now installed. Let's click finish and see where we can find Python on our system. So let's click the Windows key and type in Python. We have something called the idle, the command line, and the doc server. So I'm gonna open the idle and this is the place where we can write most of our code. We can create a new file, open a file, check recent files, open modules, and do many other things. So to show you the capabilities of Python, I'm going to try a little bit of code. Three plus four, that is an equation that uses an operator plus, and hopefully we'll get an answer. Seven. Great, but we can also do other types of equations like 3 divided by minus 2. We get a negative response and that's wonderful. But we can do other things like multiply and we get an answer as an output. So if you're new to programming and you're interested in learning more about programming, Python is definitely the place where you need to start because Python is a great learning resource. Not only does it make you think about maths and science, it makes you think about computer programming and that is what we need to learn during this series. This series is a beginner series, so if you want to learn some more advanced things, then watch some other tutorials. Here on this channel, I've got a range of many different tutorials, Python, Java, MySQL, HTML and different programming languages, which means that if Python isn't the place you'd like to start, start somewhere else. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.